Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is different. I don't think I'm gonna have this be one of my normal uploads. This will probably be just a random uploaded video. Um, it's kind of like, this is gonna be a little bit of a rant. I don't know if you'd call this a rant. Let's call this a public service announcement. Let's put a positive spin on this. So um, over the last couple of months, um, I have gotten so many messages. I get several messages every day from you guys that, and I appreciate it so much. You guys have are watching my back. You are, um, are messaging me because you have seen in this ad from this company or companies, I think there's several of them that are using my content um, without my consent, and I'm not the only one, there are other YouTubers in this ad being used, and I assume without their consent, um, to promote a product that is essentially a knockoff of the product that we, um, or that I, I can speak for only for myself, a product that I shared on my channel. So this was a while back, but I did a review and uh, kind of a demonstration on the Revlon volumizer uh, hairbrush and dryer. And that video is one of my most popular videos. I think a lot of people find my channel through that video because they're online searching for this particular product because it is a very popular um, buzzed about product. And so they're on YouTube kind of looking for reviews on it and they stumble across my video. Well, I guess when a product is very popular, uh, you have all these companies that create knockoffs and they use social media to market those knockoffs. And in this particular case, there is an ad. I'm gonna show you from my phone and I will actually try and overlay it on here too. Let's see. There is an ad like this where they are using influencers. And as you can tell, there is no voice, there's no voiceover, right? There I am. There I am. I'm used in this uh, marketing ad without my consent to sell a product that I did not, in fact, endorse. And obviously I have an issue with that and a big problem with that. And I think the when I really think like what bothers me so much about that, because they took my video, whatever, it doesn't harm me. But I think what bothers me so much about that is that people are watching this ad and regardless of if they know who I am or they know of any of these other influencers, they are being essentially lied to. And um, it made me really think to myself, like I see a lot of these ads on Instagram and Facebook and social media all day. And not just this particular one, but other types of products where you see different influencers like kind of in and out of the ad, but you don't hear them. Their voices are uh, masked by music, or maybe they just take little sa sound bites of what we say and highlight that. But you never hear the influencers talking specifically about the brand product that they are selling. It's essentially just them using our video, um, taking away our audio, and then lying to consumers to sell a fake product. And that's what I have the biggest issue with. Um, this whole experience has made me realize um, just how wrong that is and how we really need to educate consumers. So I am making this video an attempt to educate you guys so that when you see ads like that, you don't fall victim to that. Because I will be totally honest, before this happened to me, I wouldn't know any better probably. And what's really scary about that is I actually have an advertising background. I worked in advertising before I started um, doing YouTube. I sold um, media advertising. I sold TV commercials and radio commercials, and that's what I did. And um, so the fact that I could see an ad like this on Instagram, that that had what looked to be amazing and had all these influencers endorsing it, um, I might be quick to hit that shop now button and order that product. And I just wanted to create this video to make you guys aware that this actually happens and this goes on and to let you know that I did not actually endorse that product. Um, these companies, anytime you see an ad similar to this with my video that was taken without my consent and the product is not in fact the Revlon dryer that I did endorse. So if you found this video helpful and informative, I'm gonna ask that you guys share this because the only way we can kind of combat these companies is by spreading the message and the word. Um, there's really little legal action that I can take at this point. I mean, I'm sure there is, but I don't have that type of resources. I don't have that time and I don't have the money that it would take to um, get this company to stop using my content, unfortunately. So me making this video is my way to um, kind of take action and expose the companies that are doing this um, to prevent them from ripping consumers off. So if you found this video helpful, um, I hope that you will share it. I really feel like we need to educate consumers. And I didn't even realize it until I posted this on my personal Facebook profile, just sharing this, like, you know, my, what, what happened to me. And I had so many comments from like my personal friends and family who couldn't believe that this happened. 
And it made me realize that a lot of people are probably being duped um, and conned into buying products that they think their favorite influencers are endorsing that are not actually. So, so share this video. I think that um, we can definitely make change by exposing um, these brands that are essentially lying to consumers. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.